There are so many different website building platforms, all different prices and features and customizations. And the truth is, if you get started building on one of them, it's nearly impossible to switch or to move websites. You really can't backtrack and you're going to be stuck with that platform forever for as long as you want to use that website. But once you actually look into the different website builders and you pick your favorites, you'll be able to build beautiful websites with ease and with speed. Your clients will love the design because you're going to get more comfortable with building things. You're going to know where all the features are and you'll know exactly where to go to find different elements and how exactly to change each website. Plus, once you get really comfortable with one, you can actually take that work and outsource it to different virtual assistants so they can help you and you're not stuck all day working inside your business and you can work on the business and actually get more clients. Instead of moving and dragging and dropping different website elements and setting up hosting platforms and this and that, you can focus on the fun stuff. You want to travel, you can travel. You want to make more money and buy a house or get into real estate or whatever it is that you want to do. You can focus on that. Now, I know what you're already thinking. You're thinking, well, I don't want to go through and learn each and every single one and test them all out. I don't want to try all of them and test the different features and see which one I like best because that's going to take you a ton of time. Or you might be wondering, don't a lot of these website builders have garbage rankings on Google? What about the page speed? How does that look like for these website builders. And that's exactly what I want to share with you here today. Look, I've used a lot of these different platforms throughout my years and years of freelancing. I first started building websites around 2016, and then I officially started my company in 2017 and have been charging a lot of money for websites. And I've been able to make a really, really, really good income because of the skills that I've learned. We also offer SEO services, so I'll share with you my thoughts on the ranking. All right, so first website builder. This is a sample website that we have inside of this website builder. As you can see, it looks very nice. And the cool thing about this website builder is that it allows you to pull in something that's called custom values. So you're able to build websites with ease. If you want to scale this up or maybe you want to offer like copy paste website templates. We have two packages, by the way, for websites. One, our lower ticket package is $150 per month, and it's literally a copy-paste website like this where we just put the client's logo on top. This is just a baseline package that we have. If somebody has no website, they don't have any budget, I know you've spoken to those people. We just give them this. It's very, very simple. It takes 10 minutes to do. And then we have a more expensive package that's between four to $6,000 for a custom site. And then, of course, if you're doing e-commerce, you're doing shopping or anything else like that, you could charge ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 and plus, but this is how it roughly looks on the back end. And also they do have SEO settings and they have a bunch of stuff. This platform is called go high level. And they're not, although they're not the cheapest platform, if you're just building one website, this is the only one that I have seen that you can have unlimited websites in your account. Like literally, if you are on the baseline plan, you get one, what's called a sub account, which is right here, as you can see. And then in here, you can have unlimited websites. So if you don't have a portfolio, you could just import a bunch of website templates. And that could be your portfolio until you actually start getting clients. And you can have all of them hosted inside of here. Now with high level, they do offer a bunch of different stuff here, like sales funnels and service forms, email marketing, like text message marketing. So for example, something we do for clients is after they request a free quote. We do like appointment uh, bookings and then we do SMS reminders and emails. So we do way more than just websites so that we can charge more per month. But if you don't want to do that, you'll be good with a $97 per month plan and you can have unlimited websites. All the other website builders, which by the way, don't have all these features are actually going to be more expensive. So, and we've also ranked go high level websites on Google as well. So this one definitely works. And then also we do have a free 30 day trial right here instead of 14 days in the description. Uh, I think it automatically enrolls you into one of the higher level plans, but you can just uh, downgrade into the $97 per month plan if that's something that you wish. Next website template is going to be WordPress. So I really love WordPress. This is how I got started. And this is how I built a bunch of websites. Now with WordPress, obviously, it's not necessarily expensive 
expensive, but you're going to need a hosting platform. You're going to need some place where you can actually have the website and install WordPress on. Also, there's probably premium plugins that you're going to want to buy and so forth. This is really good for custom websites. It's good for SEO. I've ranked a lot, a lot, a lot of websites. I've even ranked international websites on Google using WordPress. So I absolutely love it. The cool thing too, actually, with high level is you can have uh, WordPress hosting inside of here. So you can actually have your WordPress site all inside one platform. If you need anything custom, like maybe you want to build like a forum or you want to pull in like Instagram feeds from your clients and just anything custom at all. We have done this in WordPress and it's worked very, very well. Next one is Webflow. This one is very, very nice and it allows you to really customize your website any way that you want. I really like Webflow. I think it looks super clean. I think it looks super slick, but it does require expertise. That's the downside of something like WordPress here or Webflow. These websites, you should for sure be charging minimum, I mean, minimum $3,000 upfront 3k we charge four to six thousand but if you can't charge that yet you know build your portfolio but definitely get up there because this takes a lot of time but once you figure it out it does look very very good next we have the godaddy website builder again so this would be an example of like a low ticket website if you want to offer copy paste websites for a couple hundred bucks i guess you can do it with a platform like this, it's going to end up being more expensive after you get a couple clients. But even so, I'm not a huge fan of GoDaddy as a whole. I don't buy domains from them. I don't have hosting within GoDaddy. I think it's just a bit slow. I've used the website templates. They really limit you on what you can do. The website builder is not very friendly. Uh, overall, I would say this is on the bottom of my list when it comes to website builders. Squarespace, this one is interesting. This is the pricing for us, $25 per month per website. And that's again, if you pay per month. So it makes way more sense to use a platform that gives you unlimited websites like Go High Level. And then if you want, you can also have you know more uh, tools and you're able to white label it so your clients can actually log in and see your logo at the top and, and all that stuff uh, if that's something you choose to do. But with Squarespace, it's cool because it's very simple to use. It's very easy. I've actually seen business owners log in and literally edit their own websites with this. Uh, my first couple websites I actually built on, I think Weebly was the one because the client didn't have a big budget and I didn't want to build them a whole custom like WordPress site. So it was a flotation spa and I just handed them over the Weebly website and they were able to go in. It was a one-time fee. And if they ever wanted to change anything, some content, some images, I just showed them exactly how to do it in person one time. And that was part of my package. So I think Squarespace Space is cool. I think it's good. I think it's a little bit overpriced for what it is because of how basic it is, but it definitely can work. And if you do want to hand it off to clients, I think it works very, very well. Wix is nice as well. I probably prefer Wix a little bit more than Squarespace. I'm not really sure why. It just seems to be a little bit cleaner when you use it, a little bit quicker when you use it. And I just kind of like the themes that, that come with it. If you ever want to build anything that's like e-commerce though, I would actually prefer to use Shopify, which is the next site template that we have. Shopify is great. Pretty much every store that you see online was most likely built in Shopify. I've built e-commerce websites on WordPress before, and that absolutely is possible, but is it is a hassle. It's way more customizable, but it's just difficult. If you're launching some kind of store for your client and you want to hand it off to the client, definitely use Shopify. But if you're not doing anything e-commerce, um, using one of these website templates should be just fine within Wix or any of the other ones that we mentioned. The next one here that we have is going to be Weebly. So with Weebly, I think they're also great. I think they have really good templates. I think that the, the shopping section doesn't work that well. I've used it and it's just very basic. It's very, very minimalistic. Let's take a look at the pricing here so I can show you what this looks like. So as you can see, it is cheaper than some of the other ones, but it does add up, especially if you are covering this for the client, meaning they're paying you for hosting. Could it be profitable? The answer is yes, but chances are you're going to build this for your client. And then if you hand it off to them and they're paying that $10 a month, I think you are leaving money on the table. Instead of giving this to your clients and making them pay $10 per 
per month. What I like to do, and this is what we do with all of our um, WordPress websites, is they pay us $100 or sometimes even $150 per month just to host their WordPress website. And the reason they do that is because we offer security. If anything ever happens to their website form submissions and they're getting spam, anything else that they might need, or maybe they have to update a photo or just in general, they like having a website guy or website girl that's in their corner rooting for them and making sure that everything is working. So I wouldn't do it this way. You might as well just charge a hundred. They already trusted you to pay you thousands of dollars. They're happy to keep paying you a hundred dollars a month. And it also builds your monthly recurring income. So with a lot of these tools, it really depends on what exactly it is that you need. If you're doing custom websites, if you need different animations and how custom you need it overall, anything custom, if you need it to move, if you need good site speed, I would use Webflow or WordPress. But again, that's going to require more skill. If you're just building websites, I still like to do high level. I think they have absolutely amazing websites. You can build them with speed and to top it all off, you can still rank them on Google. I've done it myself.